How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 16 shootout commentary. We got some big news, man. Jonathan Drouin requesting to be traded out of Tampa Bay. I mean, what the hell is going on down there in Tampa Bay? Steve Eiserman, you're screwing the pooch. First, it was Marty St. Louis wanted out of there. Stamkos is in signing. And now the third overall pick in 2013, Jonathan Drouin, he wants to be traded out of Tampa Bay. Hey, what the hell is going on, man? So, I want to talk about my opinions about this, but I want to just uh, get the facts out of the way first. Apparently, Jonathan Drouin requested to be traded back in November, according to his agent. So, it's not even something that's, like, new. It's just publicly new. Back in November, man. What the heck is going on down there? It's just like, Eisman's rubbing everyone the wrong way. Uh, we'll go with Tampa Bay. Sure, there we go. Now, this news went public today, today's Sunday, or Saturday night. After Jonathan Drouin was reassigned back to Syracuse, he's going back down to the AHL. Now, I don't know why uh, Tampa Bay Lightning want to do this. Um, I know he's had some injury problems this year. And yes, since he's come back from injury, he's had like what, like 14 games played and only had two points since he's come back. So he's been uh, he's been faltering a little bit. But I mean, this guy, he's supposed to be like a superstar type talent. You got to give him the games played so he can just get better. Here's a quote from his uh, his agent. On behalf of Jonathan Drouin, I formally requested a trade from the Tampa Bay Lightning back in November. We have not said one word about this untenable situation publicly until today. It's in everyone's best interest that Jonathan be allowed to move on and play hockey. You see that? That's a telling statement. Now, hang on a second. Oh, Ben Bishop stacking those pads. You know, when... When you look at these publicly uh, public statements, you have to read between the lines. And that sentence, that really jumps out at me. It's in everyone's best interest, or it's in everyone's best interest that Jonathan be allowed to move on and play hockey. So, I mean, it's all right there. It seems like Drew N wants to just stay up in the NHL and just get the chance to play an 82-game season and learn, you know what I mean? Not be sent back down to the AHL. Let's continue that quote. Let's be clear. Jonathan loves playing for the fans in Tampa. He loves his teammates, and many people within the Lightning organization have treated him well. It was his ins sincere intention to play in Tampa for many years. So he's saving face by saying it wasn't the fans, it wasn't the city. He loves Tampa Bay, and he had plans on playing there for... Oh, baby! I thought he was going to go to the left. He had plans playing there for his for many years but I don't know that could just be saving face or maybe he did want to stay there and just Steve Eiserman is just not letting them or Steve Eiserman or Cooper just not letting him in the door right so I want to ask you Tampa Bay fans I mean what the hell is going on down there this guy might be out as well Steven Stamkos let's do a uh, you know what it's kind of laggy a little bit here let's skate backwards in there we go let's turn <laughs> all right there we go he's got to go dirty birdie and just lie in the ice saying curling buddy you don't need to keep it clean for me <laughs> hey, you've shelved that one too. Nice job, Stammer. But seriously, man, I wonder what they're gonna fetch for this guy. You guys think he's gonna be traded before the trade deadline? That's the question. That's the that's the real one. Oh my God, it really is laggy. What the hell, flying poke? Ah! <laughs> he missed the goal. <laughs> he went across the goal line. I'll say Kopitar. You know what? That is a tough angle. I'm getting so lucky right here. It's so laggy. You know, let's focus on the shootout. Jonathan drew in. Here he is, the kid. It's going to be in a New Jersey by the end of the season. We'll have to wait and see. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no patience whatsoever by Jonathan Quick. He's too quick for the shootout. Dives. He literally. You're out, not even within the post right there. What's the point of the dive? You're outside of the right post. <laughs> All right. Let's, go, let's put this one to bed. Dirty birdie, baby. We got to do it. Ben Bishop. Dirty. Oh, no, he didn't. He threw the glove up. Oh, I guess that's what you get for being as tall as a freaking giant, man. Ben Bishop, I was dirty birdieing along the ice, and he still somehow got a glove save. And that thing was, it was a forehand shot. Let's see this. Ben Bishop. <laughs> well, all right. Nice and quick shootout right there. I want to put this question to you guys, though, and I want to talk about this uh, Jonathan Drouin situation. The question is, will he be traded before the trade deadline? Or is this something where Eisman's going to hold off onto him because he's still on his minor league deal, right? Don't know how many years left, but restricted free agent. I mean, the Tampa Bay Lightning, it's not like Stamkos where Stamkos has all the power. He doesn't have a, a he's got a no movement trade clause. He's unrestricted free agent this year. He can go wherever he wants to go. Drew in, you know, the Tampa Bay Lightning still have full con complete control over him. So do you guys think he gets moved before the trade deadline? Or is it something maybe that's done in the draft? Or is it something that, you know, he's going to hold on to him and... See if he can change his mindset. I don't know, man. That's rough. I mean, he's only 20, 20 years old, and he went third overall in 2013. 
He hasn't put up the greatest points yet. I mean, last year he only had four goals and 32 points in 70 games played. Um, He did manage to get some playoff games. He had six games out of uh, Tampa Bay's uh, run to the Stanley Cup. He only played six of them. And I'm sure he could have played more, but he was held pointless in all six games, right? So, so far, it's not like he's uh, shown up in the NHL, but this guy's got raw talent. Maybe you reunite him with uh, Nathan McKinnon, you know, trade him to Colorado for Duchesne and a first or a second or something like that, and reunite McKinnon with Jonathan Drouin, or maybe trade him over to uh, the Anaheim Ducks for some young blood. You know, you don't want to trade him to uh, the Eastern Conference, especially the same division, right? But, I mean, Boston, they could use him. Montreal, he is from QC after all. Maybe the Toronto Maple Leafs, that would be nice, but we got nobody to trade him back. I don't know, man. Interesting. Very interesting. So, again, the question, do you guys think he'll be traded before the trade deadline? Who do you think he'll be traded to? And what do you think um, Tampa Bay should get back for a Jonathan Drew in? I'd imagine an arm and a leg. Third overall pick from, what, three years ago. So, yeah. So let me know, boys, and I will see you in the next one.